hey guys welcome to this new video so after the ultimate edition dlc people have been asking whether i have made any changes to the slider settings because you know as you guys know i play on uh, custom hardest settings in all the formats so today what we are going to see is the slider settings after the ultimate dlc has released after the patch has released we are going to see uh, the slider settings for different formats we will start with test match then oda then we'll go for t20 so that is what we are going to see let's get on to that so here the first one the best combination is for test matches so let's go and see that so in this the ai is legend striker timing is 100 i have increased it from 75 or 80 to 100 uh, basically i saw someone uh, telling me that uh, making it 100 eliminates the through the bat thing you know through the bat kind of edges happening so the weird edges going to boundaries those kind of things get eliminated to, to an extent and i did play it within a test match and odi which i played yesterday uh, i did see a lot of change in that so this is a very good change so striker timing at 100 for that wicket chance at 50 don't change that uh, bowl quality is at 90 for the ai okay it increases the bowling quality of the ai so they bowl the consistent line and length and you know just just are there in the four stump fifth stump line to make you play in a different way so for that 90 so run rate is at 20 uh, because i want them to defend and leave rather than you know play the shot in every delivery so for that i think 20 is good but if you want the air to you know play a bit more faster maybe try to increase it to say to 25 or 30 or something like that because uh, if you have that combination then you know the test match feel will come in a more authentic manner so that is the thing so coming on to bowling i have it at hardest but the settings are on hard level so the difficulty is hardest but the release ideal the release and foot plant size is of hard difficulty why did i do that because i don't want the you know the green zone to be like almost impossible to get to i want the bowling to be controlled maybe but also to have the difficulty at a level where you know it's challenging it's not frustrating it's challenging so the difficult that difference that is the reason i went with the same you know uh, release and foot plant uh, window size all right so spin difficulty is at 90 spin difficulty is basically you know how much uh, rotation and how how better can you get the ball to be become in the spin to become uh, in the green zone and release it in a uh, in a manner you want to so that is at 90 i don't mind uh, it being at 90 but if you find it difficult maybe try to reduce it but uh, this actually provides a good combination of you know getting few balls in the green circle getting few balls in the you know yellow zone so the spin also varies a bit that way bowling line sensitivity is one thing which uh, you know which is basically the kind of input you give while bowling and what happens through the input the level of control you have through that input is the bowling line sensitivity so if you are trying to push the ball away you will be able to push the ball away then you have the uh, you know line sensitivity increased but if you are not that kind of a person then try to reduce that but i feel it hits the right note on 85 so that is why i am having it at uh, 85 after that coming on to the main thing batting in this footwork required obviously so this is for classic setting guys uh, classic controls if you are a guy who plays in uh, standard maybe try out someone's uh, someone else's you know slider setting because for classic the challenging part comes with these settings but with standard this is not that that much of a challenging thing because you know in standard you are just gonna aim at a direction and uh, just time the ball so only two factors are uh, involved but here the footwork is required so everything comes into play in classic control that's the reason i keep saying people to try it out because it not only improves your gameplay from the game point of view but from the sports point of view as well because you are trying to play the authentic way of playing you know trying to move towards the ball and trying to play in the gap and place it better time it better you know every factor uh, comes into play when you are playing with classic controls so that is the one thing i would suggest people to try it out maybe because people 
just leave leave the classic part very easily because standard is there then when the option is there people are like uh, i did i need not you know struggle or uh, make it challenging for myself but it's a great learning curve uh, it's a great uh, way to you know learn about the batting aspect batting nuances so that is the reason classic is uh, something which i would suggest then now coming on to the ball marker ball marker is at 10 i had it at 15 before now after playing lot of time 15 feels very easy because i am able to see the trigger i mean i am able to see the marker easily so you know hitting the shots becomes quite easy actually so i i went to 5 but it was too fast so i had to like premeditate it which, which is a factor i don't like doing in batting so 10 hits the right spot for me so i have to 10 if you are someone who feels it difficult try to increase it if it's not challenging enough try to decrease it simple all right coming on to early shot timing window i have it at 5 why because early shot for me is not an issue because i hardly play early for me the late timing shot window is the main window because i watch the ball until it reaches the batsman until it reach almost crosses the batsman you know so uh, for me the late shot is the one which i need to have a, a slighter bigger window to play better all right so that's the reason early shot is 5 late shot is uh, 25 all right shot timing difficulty so this is basically as the description says it increases the timing you need to achieve ideal input so that difficulty will make sure you are playing the proper shot it's it's not just because you know you time it well it reaches no it's not like that you have to place the ball in a direction good have the good footwork and play the proper shot so every factor is is getting influenced through this slider setting so it i have it at 90 i might you know, maybe try it at 100 but i don't know how you know how complicated it it becomes from 90 to 100 so maybe i might increase it a bit i might not increase it a bit so uh, yeah so that is the one advanced shot timing difficulty as you know i am not a big fan of uh, the advanced shots in this game uh, it doesn't look good the animations are not good enough to use it so just for the sake of it i have it at 50 because it makes it easier but even then i don't play it all right <laughs> so coming on to striker skill bonus that is on 5 i it's been on 5 it is on 5 foot placement difficulty this is something i love because for me batting means not the bat position or anything it's the main aspect of batting for me for classic uh, batting or even for authentic batting style is the foot placement because once a foot is placed towards a certain direction in a certain way the body automatically moves towards that and because of that the shot momentum carries on to the ball so all the combination has got to be in this foot placement difficulty so i have it at 95 which makes it challenging and makes sure i play the proper shots regardless of the situation so it's not like i'm going to take uh, you know advantage of uh, uh, you know the foot placement and just smash the ball every time i want it so i can't do that because i need the proper foot placement and the proper shot so everything it's like combination of shot timing difficulty and foot placement both give me the you know the to be in a position where i have to execute the proper shot rather than just going for it every time all right bowl quality influence so this is another you know another uh, subsection kind of a thing for foot placement basically because the kind of uh, shot which is required the kind of shot which is required to hit the ball and make the ball travel so that quality influence is at 95 okay now ideal input power boost why i have given this it's like a reward for me while batting when i hit the perfect shot you know the perfect shot where i have leaned into the ball you know covered the line well and positioned the bat the perfect way and timed it perfectly then the boost happens that makes it go to the boundary rather than you know sticking on to the almost boundary line and me taking two or three so for that 10 that's like a reward for myself now coming on to poor input power penalty so when i when the input is bad like 
no that is a short ball and i am playing it on the front foot or it's a full ball i am playing on the back foot so that penalty is like the ball will not even cross the 30 yard circle for that 80 all right power boost timing window and you give it power 5 full toss i have increased it because i want the full toss to be you know dispatched properly and give it the you know the strength to get it even further than it usually goes to so that's why that is there edges in good influence couldn't put is 10 okay it is uh, 35 over is 80 so this is the one balance i got i felt this was the one which uh, makes the edges happen but not way too much that i get frustrated and alt for the game <laughs> so so for that i have it at 80 all right now uh, the the unknown the unknown part of <laughs> unknown part of this slider setting are these two settings okay edges low striker skill influence high striker skill influence till now despite being in beta i don't have any clue as to what these settings are okay so i had a 20 and 45 just copy it timing window is at 100 because i want to play it late all right aggressive shot boot nope i don't i don't uh, want to encourage myself to play that so zero no power boost if you want to play but if you play it there will i mean you if you time it well it will go but i don't want the boost to happen in that so and for miss input so this is very 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 crucial i would say why because for the batsman to miss a delivery you know you are playing a shot and you are the game is making you miss it so you have to strike the right balance to not make the uh, you know the batsman slide away you know the graphical slide away which happens for that to happen and based on the input you give and based on the skill so both are like very crucial part of the slider settings but the issue is to how how much extent can you make it you know balanced is the thing so i just i think i have everything at uh, 30 and 45 for all the formats i feel okay this is one thing i would like you guys to experiment and tell me whether you found uh, you know even better values for this because i want the uh, you know misses to happen because i have been getting really good misses where you know the left hander is in swinging and i'm trying to play straighter and the ball is cutting me i'm missing the ball so that is one thing which i love you know the batsman holding his stance because i mean not sliding away and the ball missing the bat not going through it so these factors are very very crucial but to strike the right balance the game has to give something the sliders have to give something and they have to meet at the right spot which i don't know whether it's happening or not all right so this is very crucial try it out and tell me okay now coming on to fielding hard i don't care much about fielding it's on hard default hard i didn't change anything in that now coming on to physics part physics part is the one thing which i i mean you guys would know i play on 75 maximum pace because i like the ball you know zipping through the pitch and uh, you trying to play in the proper way so for that 75 these all default 50 50 50 all right ball flight ball bounce everything 50 pace swing 80 those uh, that was the case before as well uh revolutions for the cutters 12 i don't like the ball you know pace bowling like someone like jofra archer coming in and bowling harbaj and sing like spin i don't like that 33 is not the value uh i wanted the default one like the in in game default one to be 12 because slight movement should be there not not like you know coming and uh, bowling leg spin or off spin that's not the case it's a cutter you're trying to rotate the ball so it should happen only to that extent okay now coming on to drift i think default is 33 or something i have it at 35 revolution also is around 33 or something i have it at 35 okay back is up same now this one is very interesting i have i had it you know everything at 50 before but later i thought you know why not try to make something which uh, which is interesting because i thought uh, a was taking unnecessary reviews every time most of the time so this is the setting i have come up with just copy this and try it out 
and experiment with it and that's what i would say because if you feel the ai is taking unnecessary decisions unnecessary reviews uh in addition like some i had one moment where the ai had hd2 the slip cordon and the umpire did not call it out and uh, the ai took the review and they got it out so one side it feels like tk ai is taking the review if ai had not taken the review then it feels like very uh, very very bad but now they have taken the review and they got the decision right so overall the decision is right but umpire should have taken it when it's an edge to the slips so where is the lacking i don't know so just try it out and tell me about that okay so because yeah based on the decision type like incorrect edge decision incorrect egg, uh, based on what it happens i have uh, you know put the values according to that so this is for the test match guys okay so coming on to odi now in this legend uh, as always striker timing is at 100 i changed it at 100 because i uh, i wanted to see what the ai does in odi uh, it did play well but if you want the ai to make more you know errors and stuff then try to make it at uh, maybe 7 uh, 79 90 or 80 something like that and you can try it out because that that strikes the balance well i guess wicket chance uh, 50 no change in that bowl quality is at 90 for test matches in odis 80 run rate 65 because i want them to be a bit aggressive okay so they place the shots they place it faster and everything so for that it's 65 okay all right so now bowling it will be same as the test matches so i i did not change that in batting it's gonna be 15 okay i have increased the values a bit more that's all footwork on hardest difficulty yes early shot in that i think i have 5 or something or i have 10 something like that in this 25 ke badle 30 slight different shot timing it's the same foot placement is slightly lower because uh, what i when i experimented with foot placement difficulty what i found is that the most of the edges which happen in classic controls when you reduce the foot placement difficulty the the game becomes easier very 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 simple formula if you want the game to not you know make you edge everything like despite you making you playing good shots despite that you know he moves on and uh, plays the shot and gets you out you don't want that to happen then try to reduce the foot placement difficulty so that foot placement difficulty i don't know whether it's like you did not place your foot so i am you know uh, taking this edge of you or whether despite you giving the footwork the game is like you did not give the footwork i don't know what happens in the physics part of the game so i reduce it to 75 i think i have it at 90 in the test matches bowl quality similar thing uh, these are all the same poor input is uh, 75 uh, power boost timing into 5 full toss 10 uh, good input in 10 okay is 30 poor is 70 so for edges okay low striker high striker 20 45 okay 20 40 i think i have it at 45 in that and this one at 30 so i just changed uh, those kind of things in odi okay just to not you know get the edge every time i i am out there so i don't want that to happen i want the game to be challenging but also get proper edges if i am getting edges to the wicket keeper or while playing a shot i want it to happen more genuine than the game making me do tough i don't want that okay so missing put and i think it's the same fun Uh, because i i kind of found this to be the balanced one but you guys uh, experiment and tell me about this fielding same thing i don't care much now coming on to physics i think it's the same thing i use the same physics uh, for odis except i will come back to that now i think it's uh, this are all default only so for physics part you saw all the diff- uh, you saw all the things for uh, test matches right it's the same thing but only change i do in odi is having the short force at 65 why 
this one was suggested by my friend uh, mani he said that when you want the shots to go travel much further and not you know get frustrated by not able to score because when i have the default settings for test matches with when i play those exact settings for uh, you know odis the ball doesn't even travel more than 30 yard circle which gets very frustrating so for this he suggested have the shot force at 65 so that you can score the shots but also have the edges and stuff going on for you so this i found this to be a good balance for the shorter formats so for t20s and for odis i use the shot force as 65 i want to kind of move on to say 55 or 60 to kind of lower it a bit but I also feel that when I do lower it, then the chance of edges, you know, to the wicket keeper becomes more. So I do want to strike a balance in that because the ODIs I played played were all very easier for my liking. Uh, but I did like the way the ball went to the boundary. So I don't know what where I can strike the balance in that aspect. So only this this one value I have changed it for ODIs. Remaining everything. based on the i mean test settings you saw same thing here nothing has changed here okay now coming on to t20s in this only thing which will change is the base ai that's all so striker timing is at 80 i want the ai to make mistakes here so 80 wicket chance at 50 bowl quality i have reduced it to 80 and run rate is at 75 now as you guys know after the patch the ai has been insane theek hai so if you want them to be more insane you can have it at 75 and yes they will score uh, you know 200 plus on many occasions and you are if you are not a fan of that happening kindly reduce it to 55 or 50 have it at the default 50 itself because one match i played it at default 50 and they managed to score 160 or something like that so even the default ones they are hitting so 75 i don't know how insane they will go so if you don't want that try to decrease it if you want that have it at 75 because above this it becomes too much then what happens is ai starts to edge it uh, towards the boundary every time so don't have, don't want that so have it at 75 if you want to slightly reduce it maybe 70 or 65 should be good because 50 default itself is good they are decent but for them to you know attack you as to make you think what should i do now you know to to plan a plan a something against ai to have a strategy those kind of things running in your mind if you want that aspect have it at 75 and see how it goes because it's all about how what you want right it's not about what the game is giving you it's about what you want to feel that that's what the game is all about right so these are the things for batting wise same thing i don't i mean here i did not change because i play on the odi settings because i i struck the right balance with that so same settings for uh, even t20s is working well for me so regarding t20s combinations of the batting and physics of odi i carry on to t20s so no change in that so guys as you guys saw the settings after the tlc has released after the update has released i hope you guys find this video useful do share it with people do like it do still do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and uh, do enjoy the game guys it's, it's it's been an amazing amazing update and i have been enjoying the shorter format more uh, that is very surprising because i am not a big fan of t20 even in real life uh, but in this in this game now it feels like it's worth playing it's worth spending time and the 100 format as i have always said even before the release i i am a huge fan and uh, i hope you guys find the right balance with these settings and uh, if you do if you do have you know suggestions about any slider settings do post in the comment section and try it out guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one